Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. And this video, we are going to add an awesome report to our project. So, test reports are a crucial part of any test automation framework. By looking at the test reports, you can easily identify how many test cases are passed, failed, and skipped. And that way, we come to know A, what's the status of the project, B, what is the health of our product under test. Now, Cypress is based on Mocha JS, and this is great because Mocha JS is truly a mature product with many custom extensions. In this video, we'll be setting up Mocha Sum Reporter. In the last video, we saw Cypress captures screenshots for every failed test cases. So, we would also attach screenshots in our test report for failed test cases. Now, Mocha provides a whole bunch of reporters to choose from. Some of the Mocha built in reporters are Spec, Dot Metrics, Nyan, and JSON. Mocha Sum Reporter is a custom reporter which generates a standalone HTML, CSS, and JS report to help visualize your test runs. It has a simple, clean, and modern design. The report has filters to display only the test you want and shows stack trace for failed test cases. The one that you are seeing in here is the report that we are going to create. And let's quickly look at this report. So in here you see this whole execution took 36.375 seconds. There were five spec files that we executed and we had eight test cases in total. Six got passed, two got failed. Now you can filter these out using this. You can click in here and now you see only the past test case. If you click on this one, you see the failed test cases. Now you expand this, and in here you also see the screenshot. All right, and this is the command that got executed. So these are the Cypress commands. So this report also contains the Cypress commands and the screenshot. So this is what we are going to build. You can also filter out the result set from here. You decide to just show the past test cases or the failed test cases. Okay. Now before we move on, so at the end, we will have all these three things. Okay. And when you want to share this with your stakeholder, make sure that you share this and this asset folders. In this assets folder, you see I have the screenshot for the failed test cases under these folders like this. And it also has the CSS and the JS and all of these icons that you see on the page. Okay, don't just share this report.html file because if you do so, let me now open this file. So I just have uh, taken the copy of this particular report, right? And I just move one level up, which is pretty much like you are sharing it with somebody else. And now if I open this, right, this is what you are going to see. The reason is obvious. So if we open this report, if we do the inspect, come in here. So in here you see it is reading the JS file from that assets folder. Okay. And same way it is reading the CSS from here. Okay. And same is the case with this image. So in image you see the source attribute is being set to path of the file. But it's a relative path. So I'm not uh, using the absolute path means you know C drive and which folder this project is and then subfolders and so on. So I am just setting the relative path for this image. We also saw in the last video that Cypress execute each spec file in isolation and hence a separate report is generated for each spec file. This is a problem because we need one single test report for the complete run, right? This is what we want to have, okay? One single report. So we require to merge each of these reports into one. And for that, we would use mocha-merge and mocha-sum-report-generator packages. So in this project, I have created this particular file, mocha-sum-report-steps.txt, which contain all the steps to accomplish what I just showed you. Okay. So step one is basically this installation and we have to install these five things. So what you can do is you can just use this command npm install mocha some reporter right like this. Open your project in VS code 
go to the terminal and execute this command okay just like this i've already done that when you do so you will see all these different entries in here all right that is step number one now what is the step number two now we have to add the reporter settings in cypress.json so all you have to do is just grab this okay open your cypress.json come in here and paste that in that's it so step number two is also completed now inside this integration folder there are two more folders and i want to execute the test cases only within this command line suite folder so in here you see there are five spec files okay so therefore i have updated this integration folder path to this respective folder and in the previous video we disabled uh, video and screenshot on run failure so because we have to attach the screenshot so i am going to do what i am going to enable this okay now this much is also done now next thing is in the previous video again we mentioned that the recommended place to keep all your uh, terminal command is inside the package or json you have this scripts object okay so we have to write in the commands in here so i'm going to now add the scripts so all you have to do is if you are working on windows so you have to grab this much okay if you are on mac this is the version of script the only thing is for because i work on windows so in here what i'm doing is if you could see uh i'm checking whether there would be a folder under uh, cypress with the name reports or not and if it exists then remove that okay so this if exist part is not in here currently because i do not have mac like i mentioned so i can't test the command that i write so make sure that you you add that uh, in your case if you are working on mac so let me just grab this thing from here and go to my package or json and paste this thing in here now let's understand these commands so what are we doing in here so pretest script would create the report folders and clear them if they already exist test script would do the following a run your test suite b create mocha folder under cypress oblique uh, forward slash reports and create dot json files one for each spec executed in the mocha folder and post test would combine all the dot json files present inside cypress reports mocha folder and place the combined file report.json in the cypress reports uh, mocha some reports and that ways will have an amazing html report created at the end now the next thing is we have to add the screenshot for the failed test cases and i mentioned that we have to uh, save our screenshots inside that assets folder okay which will get created when we generate the report so we now go back in here and we have to update the location for the screenshots so we say screenshot folder okay and it is going to be inside uh, reports okay and then we have mocha reports and then we'll have assets so we are going to save all our screenshots in here now okay just like uh, if you see in here, uh, we are going to have a reports folder, right? When we'll run this, I've already run that and it says I'm going to delete that. So inside this reports, we will have the Mocha reports and under that we have this assets, all right? And these are the final two reports that will generate report and this reports.json, okay? Now, in order to attach the screenshot after our test is run, we need to listen to a Cypress event called test colon after colon run and add our additional code in there we can add this in a cypress support index.js file now that we know that cypress uh, which cypress event to listen to we need to tell mocha sum that we want a screenshot to be included in our code and this can be done by using add context so mocha sum is shipped with an add context helper method that can be used to associate additional information with the test this information will then be displayed inside the report the add context accepts two parameters the first parameter is the test object itself and the second parameter is the new information 
or context that we want to add. In our case, we want to pass in the path to where our screenshot is saved. Okay, okay. So let us see the documentation. So this is Mokasum npm package. Okay, and in here we added all these different options, right? So what does this stand for? So you can come in here and read that. So quite basically, silence console messages, report file name, file name of the saved report, HTML. Uh, by default, it's it's true. Uh, we we have to set it to false because the thing is, if you just have one spec file, then uh, you don't need to merge all these reports, right? But if you have multiple files, so we are going to collect the data in the JSON and then we are going to first merge the JSONs and like I mentioned, then we are going to generate the HTML report from the merged JSON, okay? And hence we have set it to false. Okay, so this is the thing that they've explained. Now, this is that method that we have to use to set the context, okay? And uh, this is the example that they have given. So uh, let's uh, open that example. Okay, so this is how you are going to do that. You could see that you can add a simple string like this. Okay, and then you can also add in the path, the URL basically to create a link. And you can also provide in the URL for your image or you can also provide in the path of uh, the image. Okay, so this is how you have to use this method. Now, what do we have to do in our case? Let us open this again. So it is saying, add screenshot of failed test cases to report so we have already done this much in cypress.json i guess yes see we have uh, just added that okay and uh, part b of step 4 is add the following code into cypress support.index so let me first copy this line i go to index.js make sure that you add this line before any of this code okay so you have to add it here it's not like you know you uh, copy this whole thing like this okay go to your index or json and paste it in here right this has to do with es6 uh, module thing so it will not work if you do it this way so you have to put it at the top all right now we are going to add the event like i mentioned so this is the event that we have to mention and then we have to write the callback function okay now the callback is basically whenever this happens what do you want to do and in here we have the test right and uh, this is cypress.object like and this renewal is coming from mocha.test okay so what we are doing is we have written this if block so what we are testing is once the test case is run we check the state of the test case and if it is equal to fail then we are going to use this method okay add context the uh, first object is of course the test itself test object and the second one is right the path of the file so in here we have generated the path of the file so let's see that as well so we know that it is going to be a relative path and it has to be inside the assets and under that if we just open uh, an existing one so inside assets what do you see in here right so test case uh, this this is the spec file so spec file one and two got failed okay so the this is basically the name so this is how we are going to fetch the name of the spec file cypress.spec.name will give you this this folder name okay then we have this runnable.parent.title it is going to give you the the name of the test suite okay in which the test case is there so this is basically the name of the suite login suite valid credentials okay now what is this test.title but between these two we also have two dashes right so we have used it like this and then with the help of test or title we can get the name of the test okay so then you have failed and png this is how cypress generates the screenshot this is the name that cypress uh, gives to the the screenshots okay so we have achieved this much and now we're pretty much done this is all you have to do let's hit, hit the same uh, let's save everything so, uh, let us uh, delete this report folder so we do not see this report folder anymore right it's it's gone now let us run our test and see that beautiful report is being generated or not so test execution has started so we have picked those uh, five spec files inside that command line suite folder so test cases under the first spec file are being executed. So we see this folder is being 
created and we also have mocha and mocha reports inside this mocha you have this json file which is uh, you know being created for every spec file so all those five uh, json files will be created in here and we'll have one final json uh, be created inside this mocha reports okay as you could see now uh, all these files are being created Okay, so two of five failed and now you could see we have started uh, generating the reports and we are merging those reports okay in here you see and now uh, we are saving the HTML report in here and we are going to save the uh, JSON report as well okay so here's the JSON report and here's the final HTML report okay so in here now you see all those five okay JSON reports one for each spec file and in here you have this asset folder and you have this final report.html and report.json so let us explore that in the file explorer okay so this is in here let's open that okay so let's open the first case so you see the commands in here this one is also passed and this one is failed so ideally we should have the screenshot and yes we have the screenshot in here attached okay all right so same way we also have the screenshot attached for the other case great so we are able to accomplish the objective of this video right i hope you like that thank you so much